my channel. This is your girl Miko and I am back with another crochet slay. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It is so nice to meet you. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can join the Fit and Fabulous crew and you never miss a notification when I upload a video. In today's crochet slay, we are mixing curls and colors, you guys. Yes, you guys know I love being creative when it comes to my hair and this color pattern, you guys know I have tried before when I reviewed the Free Trust Ringlet Wand Curl. Now, with that one, I use the T530, which is the brighter burgundy, and the final look didn't come out as quite like I wanted it to, not exactly like I wanted it to, but this time I am using the Free Trust Remedy Curl in 99J, mixed with some leftover Free Trust Ringlet Wand Curl that I had left over in the color uh, T30, I believe is the color. Yes, T30. And that is a dark brown root that blends into an ombre 30, which is that deeper gold color. And I'm so glad I had the T30 left over because I do prefer the darker brown roots as opposed to the 1B roots. I just think the brown and the gold and that deep burgundy color really blends so well together. Now, Deepest Trust sent me the Free Trust Remedy Wine Curl to review, and I selected it in the color 99J. 99J is so beautiful in the winter months. I love that rich, royal, dark burgundy. I think it is so classy and just so, so pretty. The Ring of Wine Curl and the Remedy Curl, the curl patterns are a little bit different. The Ring of Wine Curl curl pattern is a tighter curl pattern, and the Remedy Curl is a looser curl pattern. But mixed together, I think they blend really, really well. Uh, the hair is the exact same texture, so it was easy working with both types of hair. Super easy to knot. I only knotted the hair one time. You can knot the, knot the hair twice for extra security if you want to, but I knot it once and the knots are nice and secure. They aren't going anywhere. So no slippy knots. I love that about this hair. The hair also separates very easily without a lot of excessive tangling. Uh, so you have the option of customizing uh, the hair if you don't want to wear the hair exactly like it comes out of the pack. So I really love that flexibility and customizing the crochet hair and really, really making it my own. And I separated the strands three to four times depending on how thick the strand was and also where I was installing it on my head. Uh, through that process, you will get a little bit of shedding. Just that extra hair that you have to kind of get out um, that's that loose hair that's laying in there from separating the hair. So I installed the hair yesterday and uh, I slept with it overnight and then I got up this morning and I finished the installation process and I did not experience any tangling or matting from sleeping um, on the hair overnight. Now both strands of hair are about the same length. It doesn't say how long this hair is on the package but I would say this is an 8 to 10 inch and the hair just falls shoulder length naturally and you can see how far it comes down in the back. So I did not I have to cut this hair at all it just falls here um, all I did is I kind of framed my face and I put in a little bit of layers over here just to give it a little more volume and I really like uh, how big the hair is it's not too much volume so it's not that super big hair that you guys know I love and it's also not too flat so I think it's perfect it's like Goldilocks just perfect right in the middle now Diva Trust sent me three packs of the Remedy Wand Curl I only use uh, two packs. I only use two packs and really only one and a half because you know this is the uh, two time pack. So you get two bundles in each pack. So this is the amount of hair I have left over from that second pack. So two packs of this hair is definitely enough to do an entire head. Um, it doesn't have that synthetic sheen to it. Um, it's a very dull texture and I really like that. I love the more natural types of curl patterns. You know the straight hair is not really my thing. That's why you don't see many straight uh, reviews, straight hair reviews on my channel. I'm going to go ahead and let you get into the tutorial and um, I do show you my braid pattern. I go through how I install the hair uh, to achieve this look and all of the tips and tricks that I use to get this finished look. So I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your curl friends and all your hair besties you guys until the next video stay beautiful stay blessed my queens and make sure you stay fit and bad And this is my braiding pattern. I'm so excited I can braid my entire head. And I am using my Miko Method braiding pattern, which is the row of individuals along the front, so my crochet braids don't slide away from my hairline. I'm prepping my scalp with the Talia Wahi Restoring Serum. It's from their Protective Styles line, and I really love this serum, you guys. The peppermint stops itch on contacts, and it really keeps my scalp moisturized underneath my crochet braids. 
I've been wearing crochet braids for two years straight and my hair is the longest and healthiest that it's ever been. So check out my blog post for my article on how I maintain my hair underneath my crochet braids. I'll leave the link below. For this entire style, I separated the strands two to three times and I love how easily this hair separates without a lot of frizzing. And you guys, I have already installed one pack of hair. I am starting on the second pack, and this is where I want my side part. So I am using the invisible knot method. So you can see I'm only pulling one strand of hair through the loop. That hides the knot so your knots aren't visible in your finished look. And I use the invisible knot method along the entire perimeter of my head and also along my side part and my center part. Now for the rest of the style, I just use the regular crochet method by pulling both strands of hair through the loop so that makes the insulation go a lot faster. I did space the hair out about one to two finger widths apart. I didn't want the back to be as bulky, so I spaced the hair out a little bit more in the back. Um, but you can see one pack goes a long way. And this is what it looks like when you use the invisible knot method. You can see there are no knots exposed. And I'm all done installing the Remedy Curl, and so now I'm just going to install the Ringlet Wand Curl in the T30 along my center braid. It's gonna give me just a little bit of color to kind of accent the 99J. I only wanted a hint of color or just a highlight of color, so I decided to only go with my center cornrows with the T30, and I think it turned out super cute. And like I mentioned before, I am using the invisible knot method along those center cornrows, so you don't see my knots exposed when I wear a center part or a side part. And this is the finished look, you guys. I think it turned out so cute. This color combination is so complimentary. I absolutely love it. And you know, that's the beauty of crochet braids. You can experiment with color and textures without the commitment. And I did get some footage of the uh, 99J installed by itself so you can see what that looks like since that's what this review is about. Um, I really love this curl pattern, soft, sexy, bouncy curls, a lot of body. And you can see I got a lot of styling options with this hair. So overall, I'm very pleased with this hair, but let me know what you guys think. Which color combination do you like the best? I'm gonna leave the link below to where you can purchase this hair from dematress.com. They do have both of these curl patterns available, so definitely check out their site. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's Crochet Slay. If you enjoyed the video and you want a little bit more, check out some of the other videos in my playlist. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.